My leader inspires others by motivating them, making them believe in themselves so they know that they can do it. That's how I think my leader inspires others. I think leaders inspire others to be the best they can be by showing determination, motivation, and inspiration. Leaders inspire us by making changes in the world. They set a good example to others. Leaders have to be honest and trustworthy because people look up to them and listen to them. Some of the most important leadership qualities are about listening to people. Because if you don't listen to people, you won't know who people are. I think some qualities a leader should have is hardworking and caring. I say that because if you're not caring to the people under you, they're not going to have no respect for you. And hardworking because you can't just be sitting around and not doing anything being the boss. You have to do stuff and work as a teammate. The leader I interviewed for my project is Caitlin Stella, CEO of Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital. Because of COVID-19, leadership, her leadership became very important for the whole hospital that did things during this pandemic. I realized that it's very important that you think about your responsibility to help the people that you are in charge of keep safe. I think a leader should always have respect for their employees. For example, my leader named Gaston would always respect their employees and he would always embrace an idea. He would never let an employee down because he's respectful like every other leader. So the, the most important qualities to be an effective leader are being passionate to what you're doing, listening to others, and being role, model, role models to others. The three qualities are are an effective way to be a leader. The qualities I believe are most important in a leader are listening, skills, and compassion. Effective leaders let other people talk, not just always them. The other person might have a good idea too. They listen when someone is talking and pay attention. They don't cut them off when they're talking. An effective leader also helps people when they need help with something. Well, I think that a leader needs to be well-spoken and charismatic to be able to convince people. Second of all, I think that a leader needs to be smart to be able to make the right decisions. Third of all, <clears throat> I think that a leader needs to be quick-witted to make the, the decisions in time. And lastly, I think that a leader needs to know how to take risks because sometimes risk, risks are gonna be the right decision. In my opinion, effective leaders make their decisions by not following others and having their own opinion. And I think of leadership, I think of people that are helpful, patient, determined, and honest. Because you have to be helpful with others. You have to be patient so others know that they can talk to you. You have to be honest so others know that they can trust you. And lastly, you have to be determined because leaders don't give up. They keep on trying. Being able to listen as a leader is good because it helps you bring new ideas to your company or your business. And it um, helps motivate other, others by letting them know that you are listening to them. That's what being a leader is. How do great leaders inspire others to be the best they can be? Great leaders inspire others to be the best they can be by being encouraging and positive. Leaders model equality, love, appreciation, and forgiveness. Great and inspiring leaders can find the bright side of any situation. Leaders remain positive in the face of any challenges and failures. They show gratitude and kindness to their peers. Leaders learn to be a good leader by the people around them and the people who inspire them. For example, if you see somebody made a poor decision, help them and tell them what's good. Be a good leader and make sure to never make that same mistake.